everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. I have been asked to do a reading and make it public for everybody to watch and I hope everybody enjoys it. Um, uh, I really appreciate it when, as I always say, I really appreciate it when um, a subscriber purchases a reading and shares it for everybody because not everybody can afford to purchase a reading on their favorite celebrities or even just you know, wanting to know um, the latest and the greatest, whatever I can pick up. If you are new to my channel, I'm a, a energy reader. I pick up energies between people and pick up energies on on whoever I am reading. I can I that's how I do my readings. I'm pretty accurate. I feel when it comes to that kind of um that kind of a reading, and I also use tarot cards. Um, if anybody out there is interested in purchasing a private reading. I have two services that I offer. The first one is $65. It's a full reading, unlimited questions. I read until I'm done. And the other um, service that I provide is one question, five cards, and an energy reading, and it's $25. Okay, I will leave my email below. If anybody's interested in purchasing a private reading, I will get back to you within 24 hours. And the turnaround time now is seven days. At the very maximum, it will take me seven days. It doesn't usually take that long. Okay, so if you have a burning question about your favorite celebrity or even for yourself, if you have a work opportunity and you're wondering if you should take the job or, you know, you're wondering if, you know, um, the person that you like likes you back, I can do a reading on that. Okay, so that is how I do my readings and um, uh, that is a little bit of information on how to purchase a reading. Okay. And, I re and so for those of you who are, are returning subscribers who keep coming back, I've just hit 20,000 subscribers and it is all because of you. And I keep talking about how at one time I had 26 subscribers and I was so excited that 26 people in this big wide world actually cared about what I thought. And I just thought I'm going to keep this channel open for 26 people because 26 people care. And now I have 20,000. It doesn't mean that 20,000 people are watching, but um, it's a milestone. I've been doing this for mm, 15, uh, six years. You know, a lot of people after six years have 60 and 80,000 subscribers, but I'm just, a, I'm just a small fish in a big pond. So, okay. Now, she would like to know about Kim Go Yoon and Bo a An Bo Hyun. They did Yummy Cell together. I looked it up. Now he's a Taurus. She's a Cancer. He's 33. She's 30 years old. So she wants to know, does Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun have a special connection? I don't believe it's a special connection like um, uh, love. Okay. This, I feel that they're very comfortable around each other and I really feel that he, like they're both kind of, the connection that they have is a great chemistry working on screen. She feels she can be herself. So like for example, when she was working with Lee Min Ho, I get this feeling of trying to look pretty and trying to do a good job and so in some ways she wasn't herself because oh he might not like me but with An Bo Hyun I feel that with him she can be herself she can be silly and go oh okay good he's you know she doesn't worry about whether he thinks she's silly or not because she's not looking she's not falling in love with him and um uh wants to have a connection that way okay um, so next question, if, if yes, when does it start? They don't have a special connection. I don't feel that they do. I just really feel that this is a very easy, um, platonic friendship. It's like they work well together without judgment, without worry, without thinking, oh, she's going to think I'm going to be stupid or look dumb or not smart. They don't, they don't have that worry with each other because... I feel like it's just friendship, just co-workers that get along really well. What Kim Go Yoon thinks about An Bi Bo Hyun, um, what does she think of him? I feel like what I pick up is that 
that she liked working with him. He's got a good energy. I feel that he's very uplifting. He's easy to be around. He's easy to work with. And it allows her to be herself. It allows her to be a giggly little schoolgirl if she wants to be. But not a giggly little schoolgirl like she's in love. Okay? It's more of just being who she is. She, it's He's very easy to be around. And I feel like she really likes that. What does Bo Hyun think about Kim Go Yoon? Um, I get the same thing. I just get a platonic working relationship where they had fun working together. I don't know what Yummy Cell was. If it's a comedy or if it's a serious, you know, um, uh, the King Eternal Mo the King Eternal Monarch was serious, right? It was. They had it had some funny stuff in there, but. It was more of a drama series, and I don't know if Yummy Cell is um, a comedy or what, but um, what does he think of her? Nothing more than co-worker. Nothing more than just someone that he's acting with, okay? What kind of person is An Bo Hyun in general and in terms of love? Um... When I think about An Bo Hyun, I get someone who's very easygoing and easy to please. I don't feel like he's arrogant. Um, I don't feel like he needs to be controlling. He's pretty easygoing. And I just get to see easy, he's easy to be around. It's like nobody needs to impress him. Okay. Um, What kind of person in, okay, and, and in terms of love, um, in terms of love, I don't feel that when he falls in love, he's very serious. You know, he's, um, you know, like that, that controlling kind of a guy. I don't get that. I get he is um, easygoing in every way, whether it's in love or just him as a person. Do they still meet each other in real life? I don't think so. Excuse me. I think that um, they probably get together when it's time to do, uh, what do you call it, when they do um, promotions of the of the TV show, that sort of a thing. Um, but I, I don't feel they get together to do anything outside of work. Can you feel if they will be together in the future? Yes, and they're not going to be. I don't get love with these two. I just, I get great working partners. Two people that get along really well and on screen, um, great chemistry, uh, easy to work with. No, I don't feel like he's pouty and walks away if she loses her lines or misses her lines. I feel like he probably laughs at her and just goes, oh, that, you know, like just very lighthearted. He's lighthearted. Um, do they have the same vision, such as having an established family, kids, etc.? I think they both would like that, but both of them are working on their career. They both want, I don't know if they're called, I know I'm, I've been doing Korean, Korean and South East Asian readings um, of couples. And there's the seniors. And Hyun Bin, you know, he's a senior. They're, they're you know, they're seniors. I don't, like, and you look at someone like Lee Min Ho, he's a senior, right? I'm guessing. I'm thinking that I'm trying to pick up how this all works. Kim Go Yoon is, I don't feel, is a senior. And neither is An Bo Hyun. So, do they have the same vision? Vision? Yes, I believe they both one day would like to get married and have children. But they both are working on their careers. They want to be established. Someone like Lee Min Ho can sit back and not work as hard because he's kind of put his time in. Okay. But these two here have to keep working. Yes. One day they would like to settle down and have children and get married, but I don't feel that's going to be for a while. Does An Bo Hyun's parents know about Kim Go Yoon and what do they think about each other? There's nothing to know. Yes. They know about her as a person, but I don't feel they're dating or are romantically interested in each other. Do they share about the private life or story already? No, because I, 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 I don't, like I get 
you know, he's easy to make laugh. He's easy to make laugh. Okay. He's easy. So I feel, I, I get this her trying to make him laugh. And so whether it's when you work together on a movie set, you're very close and you spend every day together and it's probably 18 hours a day. So you become very familiar with each other and you have to learn to get along if you don't get along. But if you're already getting along, then it's easy to let your guard down and be who you are. Okay, so I do feel they like share each other's personal stories like, oh, can I be your friend on Facebook? Okay, you can be my friend or you want to be my friend on Instagram? Okay, I'll be your friend. And I get this poking at each other. You know, if he posts something, then I, I can see her going, you know, great job. I'm glad that you got this or you look really good in that. And I, I get that being supportive of each other. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for is they're very supportive of each other. Okay. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will take the cards out now and I will see what the energies are between them. What are the energies between Kim Bo Yoon and An Bo Hyun? What are the energies between Kim Bo Yoon and An Bo Hyun? And I know that in the Korean culture, people are serious. And, you know, so when you see people that are a little bit giddy, they automatically think that, oh, they're in love and they want to impress this guy. See, when I think about her and Lee Min Ho, I get she's a little bit more guarded. She doesn't, you know, it's almost like I don't want to think I'm a silly little girl. So I'm going to be, you know, something that I'm really not. So she can be, she can impress him. Where with An Bo Hyun, I feel she can kind of be herself. And when you're wanting to be yourself, I feel then there's, she's not trying to make an impression. Like, oh, maybe he won't like me if I'm myself. I don't get her having her guard up with him because she, she's not interested. <clears throat> what are the energies between Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun? What are the energies between Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun? And the way I do my cards is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till one card falls out. What are the energies between Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun? Kim Bo Yoon and An Bo Hyun. Kim Bo Yoon. Okay, so what are the energies between the two of them? There's the fool, okay? This is that fresh hope, taking chances, the new beginning. So they had this new beginning. They started working on something together. They both took that leap of faith. They have a new beginning. This is was fresh hope, they take the chance, okay? What did they do? They created something. There's the Ace of Wands, which talks about... Um, a new project. It's an inspiration to create something. This is about passion. You can see the red. The red to me talks about passion. New beginning. Okay. New beginning in a project. This is how the relationship started off with work. They're both passionate and creative. They're in arts. They're, you know, film is art. Okay. So they're both very passionate about this. They come together for the common reason of creating and inspired to do, do a job, be creative, okay? Then we have the Three of Pentacles, which talks about teamwork. Sorry, Three of Pentacles, 
talks about skill, quality, craftsmanship. So you can see typically in this, in, with the Three of Pentacles, the way these cards are depicted is it's somebody is working and two people are usually watching. So let me just grab, I'll just grab a deck here. Um, so I can show you guys what I mean. This one doesn't really show what I want to what I what I want to say. Probably be the very last card that I'm looking for. Okay. So here is the 3 of pentacles in this deck. You can see this person is working very detailed. He is a craftsman. They're both very good at their craft. And these people are looking up to this person going, oh, look at the good work he does. Okay? So this card doesn't show that. It just shows the Three of Pentacles, somebody working, very detailed. They know what they do. Now, what are the energies between the two of them? The both of them see that they're, they're very good craftsmen. They're very good at what they do and they look up to each other when it comes to working with each other. This is just a very easy going, free, free friendship. Okay. All right. Then we have the five of pentacles. To me, this signifies no emotions, deep emotions between the two of them. As in talking about, oh, I love you. And, I, you know, this is, this is working together. Um, on a level, pentacles work, right? Okay, and um, now, but this isn't love, feelings, and relationships that they're sharing with each other, okay? And then what are the energies between the two of them? Here we have the um, em emperor, or the empress. This is about abundance. So what are the energies between the two of them? This project here, this new beginning, brings them abundance and all the beautiful things in life. Okay? All right. And let's see what the future messages are between Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun. Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun. Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun. Future messages. Future messages regarding Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun. Like you guys have to start to realize that just because people are working together and they get along. I mean, I've been starting to, I've been watching K-dramas. I just finished Vincento, which was all of the K-dramas are out of this world. They are nothing like in North America. The storylines are unbelievable and the acting is so good that it really seems believable. The sobbing, Vincento, watching him sob when, when, what, I don't want to, tell people who haven't seen it, but watching after what happened to his mother, sobbing in Chloe. When I watched, um, uh, I forget the main character, but when I watched her, the sobbing, it's like you've got to go to a special place in your mind for the sobbing, not just crying. And it, I start crying. So they're, these are very, very good actors. And so you guys have to start to realize this is some of these actors. Yes, they in real life, there is something going on, but not all of them. And just because there's chemistry doesn't mean there's chemistry off the screen. Okay. And we all have our fantasies where we would love to see, you know, um, uh, People get together, you know, but it doesn't always happen.
Okay, so what are the future messages? Now, I haven't had one card come out that is a cup card, lovers, two of cups, ten of cups, ace of cups, four of wands. We have the ace of pentacles, future messages. They might work again together. This is about a new job, okay? This is about an investment. This is about a stable relationship. They might have a stable relationship in the financial terms when it comes to money, projects, jobs, things like that. Okay, all right, what are the future messages? There's the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is retreat, rest, renewal, solitude, recovery, no action. No action here between the two of them. They both, they just finished working, now they're probably gonna promote everything, and there's gonna be this rest. There's, there's nothing going on between the two of them. Five of Wands, okay? Five of Wands is rivalry, challenges, and obstacles. So they, they like, to me, this talks about um, having fun with each other in the terms of um, uh, competition, okay? So when they're working together, they might be competitive and her say, well, you know what, I, I bet I can learn my lines a lot faster than you can. You know, that sort of a thing. Okay, so there is some sort of a competition here between the two of them. I don't feel like it's love and I don't feel like it's going to turn into love. Then we have the magician. This is turning your visions into reality. If they want to work again, I feel like they will work again. I mean, there's like, they have the tools here. Okay, they have the coin, the wand, the cup, the sword. So they have the tools and then we have the nine of pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles talks about luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. They're going to have more financial gain, self-sufficiency, the beautiful things in life, being happy and at home with yourself. Now, when you look at all these cards, not one is a love card, marriage card, anything like that. When I think about Lee Min Ho, I get somebody that, and I'm just bringing him up because I've been doing a lot of readings on them, right? So when I think about Lee Min Ho, I get someone who's more serious. When I think about An Bo Hyun, I get someone like Lee Min Ho is a little more broody. I don't feel like Lee Min no Ho kind of knows how to have fun. He's not easygoing. Where I feel that An Bo Hyun is very easygoing and he's lighthearted. And I'm not saying that Lee Min Ho is a bad person for not being lighthearted, but when I think about the two of them, that is the energies that I pick up. Two different men, totally different. Lee Min Ho is very passionate. This guy is fun-loving and lighthearted. So, are there is there anything going on here? No, I don't feel it's anything more than um, working together and just having a great chemistry on screen together. Okay? All right, there you go. That is the reading on Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun. I really hope you guys enjoy this reading and I'm so eternally grateful for the person who's purchased this reading. Um, I hope this clears things up for you guys. I don't know if there's, obviously there's something out there going on where people are starting to wonder. All right. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. I truly appreciate it. And thank you for supporting my channel. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.